Okay, okay great. So let's get started. I'm so excited to do this. Let me make sure. Let's all just sit first and we're gonna say crisscross applesauce. And you can put your legs on top of each other like this, or you can put your leg out in front, whatever feels better on your hips and on your knees. And then just take a sip of water if you have it right next to you to get yourself ready. Okay. So like Diego just said, he's coming from doing all kinds of schoolwork. It's now 5.30, your time. I'm sure all of you have been doing something all day. It's been a crazy spring, right? There's been a lot going on. So it's really good to always start our yoga practice to just center ourselves and be really present because it's easy to get distracted and to look at our phone, to look at our computer, to watch TV, to talk to somebody. And all of a sudden we're not present and we're not in our bodies. So what I want you to do is to close your eyes and you can put your hands on your knees and put them up or down, whatever feels comfortable to you. And we're gonna take five breaths together because we're in this together. Okay, so keep your eyes closed. And what we're gonna do is when we take our breath in, we're gonna breathe in our nose. And then we're gonna hold it at the top and then let it go out of our mouth. Really nice. Okay, so we're gonna do five of those together. And I want you just to think about the breath going in and out of your body. Okay, ready? So let's take a breath in, through the nose, hold it, let it go out the mouth. In through the nose, hold it, out the mouth. In through the nose, hold it. This time when you let it go, let's say, ah. Another one in the nose, hold it. This time when we let it out, let's say, hmm. Mm. Last one, the deepest breath you have. That was weird. The nose, out the mouth. Really nice job. Here's what I love about yoga. It's great when we do it all together, but we can take pieces of this to use throughout our day. So if you ever feel yourself getting a little stressed or not present, or you know, sometimes when you read something and then you're like, what did I just read? And you have to reread it and reread it and reread it because we're not being present. That's a great time to say, let me just stop for a second, close my eyes, and take five really deep breaths. All right, so let's turn over and let's start off in our child's pose. So you're gonna sit on the back of your feet. You can spread your knees as wide as your mat, or you can bring them closer, whatever's comfortable for you. And then we're gonna lean forward so that our forehead is on the mat. And then I want you to bring your arms up in front of you. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look, but I want all of you down in child's pose. Head on the floor, nice. And if it's a little hard for you to get your forehead on the floor, that might mean you just need to spread your knees even farther apart, okay? So Diego, go ahead and put your forehead on the floor. Diego, um, spread your legs apart. Spread my leg. oh, <laughs> sorry. That's okay, bud. And then sit back on your heels, okay? Now lean forward, Diego and put your forehead on the, on the mat. Oh my, if you're already in child's pose, I want you just to keep taking deep breaths here. Okay, good. Wait, deep forehead breath. on the floor? Put your head on the floor, Diego. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's take a couple deep breaths in our nose and out our nose. Good, now keep your forehead down but just kind of rock side to side. What we're doing here is we're waking up our hips and our back. We're giving it a little stretch. The best way to take care of our back is to move it. And then I want you to reach your fingers forward like they're spiders crawling towards the top of your back. So crawl your fingers forward as far as they can go and then hold it. You're gonna feel a really good stretch along both sides of your body. Good, let's take a breath here. And then crawl your fingers back and let's get into tabletop. Now we know this well, but let's check ourselves to make sure that our shoulders are over our wrists and our hips are over our knees. And you should have a nice flat back that if I took that water you have, 
It's gonna sit there, not fall off. Good, excellent. Okay, everybody, we're gonna breathe in and look up and our belly's gonna drop. So we look like a cow, good. <laughs> and then when you exhale, think about pushing your belly up, rounding it and dropping your head. So you look like a scared cat. Good, and we're gonna just in a nice flow. So breathe in and look up, drop that belly. As you exhale, pull your belly up, round it, look towards your knees. Breathe in into cow. Exhale into cat. And you can go at your own pace. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, look down, round it. Let's do it two more times. This is one of the best things we can do for our spine. Exhale into cow, one more. Breathe in into cow. Exhale into cat. Okay, good. Now I want you to go back to that really flat spine. So we're still on all fours, but we have this flat back, right? Good, let me see everyone. Nice job. Okay, so we're gonna take, we're gonna stay in our, in our tabletop. And I want you to lift just your right arm, your left arm supporting you. Lift your right arm high up in the sky and then see if you can look at your hand. We're giving our back a really nice stretch. Good, pick that arm up. Good, Elijah, you got your right arm up. Good job, Diego, good job, Charlotte. Betsy, good. And Elijah, turn and look at your right hand. The one that's up in the sky. Nice. Okay, let's bring our right hand down. Flat back. Pick your left hand up. So pick up your opposite hand. See if you can look at it. This is gonna help us to stretch our spine. Take a couple breaths here. Nice job, nice job. And bring it back down. Good, and then I like to give this a little wiggle. We just did some nice stretching. Just give a little wiggle, a wiggle on our spine. Awesome. From tabletop, tuck your toes, pick up your hips, and we're going right into downward dog. Okay, for, I don't know about you guys, but this is my first downward dog of the day. So let's get it nice and stretched out. Take your dog for a walk, bend your left knee, Bend your right knee. If you need to walk a little forward, you can do that. Good. I like to wag my tail. Pretend like your dog with the button there. Go ahead and wag your tail. Oh, we're so happy to be doing yoga together. I'm just wagging my tail away. Nice. Keep breathing. All right, let's do a little more on each side. Really nice job. Okay, now let's get into a nice solid downward dog. So your knees are just a little bit bent. You're looking forward between your hands. I know I'm looking at you. That's just to make sure we're doing it correctly. Good. Now, here's what I want you to do. We're gonna walk our feet to our hands. Good. And we're in forward fold. So let your head be really heavy so that you can shake it no or nod it yes. If you want to grab opposite elbows, you can sway side to side and have a little bit of a bend in your knee so that we don't have any pressure on our lower back. Good. This just really helps to bring blood and oxygen to our head, to our lower, our lower back here. Okay, now I want you to tuck your chin and see who can do this the slowest. Roll up. As if you were sticking one vertebra on top of the other. Who's gonna be the absolute slowest? Yes. Stack them on top. Your head's gonna be the last thing. And then stand up nice and straight. Really good job. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna turn and face you so you can see me. I want you to pick your hands up overhead, nice and tall above you. Good. And think about your feet rooting into the ground. Imagine you're a tree and your feet are the roots and they're going deep, deep, deep into the ground. Okay, Dia, you'll get, yes, get those arms nice and straight. Pull your belly button in, 
nice strong core, nice strong back. I'm gonna encourage you to close your eyes right now. You walk and stand every single day. You have enough balance to close your eyes. And let's just take a moment to breathe here. This is a really strong pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then if it feels good, look back a little and do a little back bend. Just a little one. This is only our first back bend, just a little one. And then we're gonna dive forward, back into our forward fold. So go ahead and pretend like you're diving in the pool, back into your forward fold. Good. Okay, we are gonna do this five times. We're gonna go from forward fold, slowly up to mountain pose. We're gonna take one breath when we get up here, do a back bend, dive forward. Okay, I will walk you through it, but we're gonna do that whole sequence five times. If you're slower than me, if you're faster than me, that is totally fine. Go at your pace. Also, I'm gonna encourage you, see if you can do it with your eyes closed. Remember, your feet are planted. You are strong, you have balance, you can do it. Okay, let's start in our forward fold. Slowly go up. You can go a little faster than you did last time. Bring your arms up overhead, nice and straight. Pull in your belly button, close your eyes. Take a deep breath here. Let it go. As you breathe in, little back bend, and then dive forward. That's one. Let's do it again. Roll up, breathe in. Bring your arms up overhead. If you want to look up, you can do that. Keep those eyes closed. Little back bend. Dive forward. Back in our forward fold. Okay. Deep breath in. Arms up. Look up. Little back bend. Dive forward. These last two, I'm going to let you do on your own without me saying anything so we can really get some nice meditation going. Last one. Down and forward fold. Okay, if you're already in forward fold, that's okay, just hang there. If you're not there yet, go ahead and get yourself there whenever you're ready. Good. Okay, from forward fold, put your hands down on your mat and walk back into downward dog. Let me see everybody in downward dog now. Nice job. Awesome. Okay, pick your right leg up. So we're in a three-legged dog. All right, everybody pick your right leg up behind you, and then we're gonna bring it forward in front of us. Like we're about to get into warrior one. We are now in a runner's pose. This is one of my favorite stretches. So your knee is over your foot. I don't wanna see it past your foot, so it goes past your toes because then you're going to hurt yourself. If you need to bring your foot forward to get a little more stretch, you can do that. Put, keep both hands down on the ground and then just gently rock back and forth. You are going to feel a really big stretch in this back leg. This is such a good stretch for before you go for a run and after you go for a run. Okay, good. Keep it there. Wow, awesome job, everybody. Now we're gonna do something a little tricky because all of you have been in my yoga classes before, so I know you can handle it. If you have your right leg forward, I want you to put your left hand down on the ground by your leg. Then pick your right arm up. Really big spine stretch. Look up at your hand. We're stretching our whole body right now. This is such a good stretch. Awesome, awesome. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just pick yourself back up and go back in it. Good, okay, bring both hands down and then let's step back into downward dog. Get that tail way up in the air. Good, not plank pose. Now let's put our left leg up or the other leg, whatever leg you did last time, do the opposite one. Nice and high behind us 
and then step it through between our hands. If you need to tent up on your fingers, if you need to go on your fingers instead, if you can't go all the way down your palms, that's fine. Whatever works for you. Make sure your knee is over your ankle and just a little back and forth. Wow, really good quad stretch here. Just gently back and forth. We don't want to hurt ourselves, we just want to stretch. Good, got it, Diego? <laughs> nice, buddy. Everybody's looking really good. Okay, if your left leg is forward, I want you to put your right hand down on the mat near your foot and lift your left arm up and see if you can look at your left hand. Whatever we do to the right side, we want to do to the left side. So we're just stretching out our spine this way. It's almost like we're wringing it out. Like we have a wet bathing suit, we're wringing it out. One more deep breath here. Bring your hand back down, both hands on the ground, and let's step back into downward dog. Now we just stretch both of our hips. So let's do a little walk again. Take your dog for another little walk. Stretch it out, whatever makes your hips feel good right now. Yep. Good. Okay. So now, hold on, I can't remember the next thing we were gonna do. Oh, I remember. Sorry guys, it's been a long day for me too. I can't remember what our next one was gonna, was gonna be. We're gonna walk forward. Walk your hands to your feet, back into our forward fold. Okay, we've done this before. We're gonna go into our mountain pose. But this time, keep your arms down. Now I know how much everybody, I'm gonna back up because I think I'm really right there. How much everybody loves this one. We're gonna go into our tree pose, okay? So watch what happens. I want you to take your right knee and just pick your right knee up. If you fall, totally okay. Put your foot down and come back up. Then we're gonna grab it. And now, if you're feeling like you have the balance and the flexibility to do it, put it inside your thigh. If that's too hard for you, just put it next to your heel down here. This is the same pose. So wherever you need it, you put it, okay? So go ahead and grab it, put it where it feels comfortable to you. Now, once you have your balance, I want you to take your arms, okay? These are our branches. Wiggle those fingers. It's like wind blowing through the leaves. And what happens when we get a lot of water and a lot of sunshine? Our arms start to grow. Grow those branches up. Let me back up a little so you can see them. Grow them up. Take up as much space as you possibly can. We get stuck in New York City in tiny little places we cannot take up space. I want those arms as wide or as tall as you can. Nice job. And let's test ourselves. Close your eyes. See if you can hold it. If you fall out, that's okay. Just pick your foot back up. Do it again. And let's take a couple breaths here. How still can you be? Nice. Betsy, nice job just getting right back into it. Really good job. Charlotte looking fabulous. Great, Elijah, nice change that you did to make it work for you, good. Okay, bring your arms in, grab your heat, your foot, and let's pull it off, and then give it a little shake. Now, opposite leg, lift your knee up. A little balance here, I'm sneaking in a little bit of balance. And you put your foot either your thigh, or down near your ankle, whatever one feels good for you today. Sometimes also what feels good on the right side doesn't feel good on the left side. So maybe on the right side, you had it up high, on the left side, you need to go down low. That's fine. Whatever your body needs. Yoga is about listening to your body. Okay, when you feel good here, Charlotte, nice job. Diego, nice job. Grow your branches. If you went out wide last time, Try going up high this time. Just want to think about you to think about just making as much room for your big heart as you can. Lots and lots of space. And then try closing your eyes. Diego, reach your arms nice and wide, bud. Excellent. That's okay. We fall over, we get back into it. Let's take one more deep breath here. 
Bring your arms back in. We're gonna grab our foot, put it back down. Give it a little shake. Excellent. Let's dive forward to our toes. And I want you just to sit here for a second. Do you notice a difference in your legs? Do you feel like you have a little more stretch in you? Can you reach the ground a little more? Does your body feel a little more fluid? Let's take a couple breaths here. You can bend one knee, bend the other knee. Good, just really stretching out the backs of our legs and our breath and our back. Good, okay. Now I want you to walk back into our last downward dog of the class. Make this your strongest one yet. Really push down with your hands. Really try to get that tail up in the sky. Good. Once you're in your downward dog, push yourself forward into our plank. Okay, look at my plank. Make sure your back is nice and straight and that you're long. Good. We don't want to be down sagging and we're not in downward dog. We have a nice flat back. We are gonna do five push-ups. You can go down to your knees if you need to, but I want everybody to start in, a, in, a, in our first position here, okay? Ready? Let's do them together. Look down at the ground and let's count. One, two, don't forget to breathe. If you need to put your knees down, go ahead. Three, two more. Four, last one, you can do it. Five, awesome. Put your knees down and let's go into child's pose. So head on the floor, your forehead on the floor, your arms out wide. That was a really fantastic workout we did. Let's just take a moment to breathe here and enjoy what we just did. Good, okay. Now, here's what I want us to do. Stay seated. I'm gonna grab my phone for this. Do you guys stay seated? We're gonna end with a couple minutes of meditation. Okay, so get in a comfortable position. You can put both feet in front of you like this. You can put one on top of the other. Whatever is comfortable for you, okay? I'm gonna get my timer out so I make sure I know how long we're going. And sorry guys. I want you to put your hands on your knees up or down. Get comfortable. Nice straight back. And close your eyes. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just focus on filling ourselves with happiness. So I want you to think about in your mind's eye, in your imagination. Picture a really bright, yellow, warm sun above your head. Now, you guys have had some really lovely weather there in New York City, so you have seen this sun recently. Picture it above your head. Now, imagine that the gold from the sun, that warmth, that heat, that beautiful color from the sun is just filling up your body. It's going down through your head, down your entire body, into your toes and it's like it's pouring its its yellow gold into you just this warm happiness so feel it fill your toes fills your feet if any pain or aches it's just going to wash those away let it keep filling you up breathing in and out of your nose Fills up your calves. Reach your knees. And just feel the warm gold filling your body. Seeing that sun above you is filling you with happiness. From your knees, it goes to your thighs. Think about it touching every single cell in your thigh. 
bones, your muscles, your tissues, filling up everything. Once your thighs are filled, feels a little tush. There's your belly, wrapping itself around all of your organs. Keep picturing it. If other thoughts come in your mind, that's okay. Just let them go. Go back to picturing that sun, picturing the gold, picturing the warmth. Fills up your chest. Goes down your arms all the way to your fingertips. Let it fill each and every fingertip, your hands, your wrists. elbows. We just worked our biceps. Let it fill your biceps. If there's any tension there, washing it away. Shoulders. Now it fills up the neck. So we are filled with this golden warm sunshine all the way up to our neck. Now let it fill your face. Your nose, your lips, your eyes your ears, your brain, until it's at the top of your head and it's overflowing. The joy, the happiness, the peace that is inside of you is overflowing you to all your teammates around you, to our teammates around the city, around the country, around the world. This is bright, warm, golden happiness shining through us. Maybe it's coming out of your fingertips and your toes. Maybe it's shooting from the top of your head. Feel that warmth surrounding you and coming out from you. And just sit in it. How does it feel? Keep breathing. Let that sun keep filling you up. Infinite amount of filling you up. It never ends. The happiness is infinite. It just keeps filling you. Keep breathing a few more breaths here. Think about who you want to share that happiness with. Picture that person's face inside your mind's eye. And then send them all this joy and happiness that's filling you up. How does it make you feel to make them happy? <laughs> Keep breathing. And then when you're ready, I want you to just flutter your eyes open. And let's take a deep breath together. Okay, so we're going to take it in our nose, out our mouth, together, collectively as a team, as a thank you to yourselves for showing up, and as a thank you to our teammates for showing up. Yoga is a wonderful thing to do by yourself, but it's even better when we can do it together and share each other's energy. So let's take a team breath in together through our nose, and let it out our mouth. Namaste. Thank you all for coming. That was such a wonderful practice. I love sealing my yoga practice with meditation. And you guys just did five minutes of meditation at the end. So just see after you do this, how does your body feel? How does our brain feel? How do our emotions feel, right? And think about that. So the next time that maybe you're feeling a little stressed out or tight or not present or all these different things that we feel, we know that if we come back to our mat, we can come to a place of presence and of happiness and of calm, and then we can go back into our day. Awesome job, everybody. High fives. Everybody give me high fives. Yes. Amazing job. Want? I'm so Did proud you of you all. Thank you for coming. I know it's dinner time, but I'm so happy you were all able to come. And let me know. Yeah, we have the photos. Party. Everybody look and smile. That's a good one. Awesome. Okay, awesome. And don't forget tomorrow is our dance, learning how to dance event, which is going to be so fun. And it is not, Karen sent out an email today. It isn't, or yesterday. 
Um, but it's not this this link. So remember right. to use the link from the email, okay? Mm -hmm. But our dance, our regular dance party on Friday will be this link. Okay. And, awesome job. And it's not to be missed. Sure. We did a run through yesterday and it was really incredible. No dancing expertise is required. It's very simple moves. You turn your head, you put your arms behind. So, and it's the song is amazing. The lyrics oh are so powerful. If you don't know This Is Me, you should listen to it. It's a oh, great song. Such a good song. So. I do. And I, mean, uh, I, do. I cannot wait yeah, for you. Do. Yeah, I'm it's so it's excited. Very sure. moving. Amazing. We do that after party, Karen? And thank you so much. Yes, we can hang on, Charlotte. So no problem. Anybody who wants to hang on. But thank you so Where's much, Janet, Angie. Karen? Oh, of course. You guys know I love coming on for yoga. So I'm glad you guys want to keep doing it. I think yoga is a really important part of our life every single week even especially as runners so that we're stretching our body and we're being nice and flexible and ready to run. Let's end with a team cheer. Oh, Betsy, you have a question? Um, yeah, thank you. Um, oh, I, no, want, I have no. a question. Please. I have a question. Um, it's okay. It's just a little water. Um, um, are you, did you uh, record this so that it's going to be on the Achilles website so we could do it again when we don't yes. have to sure. Karen yep. recorded it I... and she will put it up with the other ones. Yep. And then you can do it again. And then we'll probably schedule another one for June. Thank you. Cool. Yes. Thank All you. Right. For yes. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Let's say go Achilles kids on three. Charlotte, you ready, my dear? We don't want to cheer without you. There we go. Okay. Can I count go on? Achilles kids on three. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Oh, oh, I see you all. All right. Okay, you take care. Love you, Angie.